All right, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna be fishing with the PC Fun Voltex jigging reel. Let's see how she does. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be reviewing the PC Fun Voltex jigging reel. I've used this reel for a few months now and it, it's gotten some really good work in. So I'm doing this kind of reverse. Normally I do the unboxing then review. But this one, I actually took it fishing a number of times, so I know what it's about, know how it performs, so I'm just gonna give you some details about the, the reel itself and how it stands up for, I've had it for six months now, so we'll see how that goes. All right, let's get it open up and see what it looks like inside. I put it back in the box just for demo purposes. Like I said, I've used this, this reel for about six months now, so um, it's gotten its fair share of work. So this is it. I'm a right-handed um, right person, so this works great for me. So if you can take a look, this is what it looks like. And also this is important, this, uh, this support, this metal support. All right, so I'm just gonna give you some details about this particular reel. This reel has nine bearings, and if you can see, really smooth. And this is after six plus months of saltwater fishing, no issues whatsoever. This has a six to one gear ratio. And one of the things that's important, especially fishing in deeper water, is you get 35 inches of line for each crank. So you spool this up fully. Each time you crank, you're, put, you're pulling in 35 inches of line. So here in the Gulf of Mexico, we have a, a lot of issues with sharks. So you wanna get that fish up as fast as possible. So this definitely helps with uh, 30, 35 inches of line per reel. And also it supports a max drag of uh, 32 pounds. So a lot of the big AJs, uh, big groupers, I've not had an issue with this reel um, dealing with some bigger fish. So, you know, 33 pounds, you're fighting a monster and this reel could handle it. Um, another thing about it, it's really light. If you're familiar with jigging, you know, you're jigging all day long. You know, it, it, it gets tiring, especially with a heavy reel. So I have a really light rod and a really light reel. This thing, 13 ounces, like nothing. You know, if you're in the grams, it's 390 grams. And the last thing is the type of uh, line you can put on it. I have this spool with 30 pound uh, braid and I have a 25 pound fluorocarbon leader. So you could put 350 yards of uh, 30 pound braid on this thing. So, you know, you go fish some deep water without having to worry about line capacity. All right, now that we have some of the details for this reel, some of the technical details, I wanna go over some of the functionality. So if you could see, this is the release to release the line, reels back in. So one of the things, this is the tension right here, this little button right here, and you adjust it you know, based on the, the 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 weight of the of the jig you're gonna use. So with it loose, basically a free spool, but you wanna tighten it somewhat because if you leave it just like this, you'll end up with a, you know, a bird's nest with this, you know. So you definitely wanna set it so it's like this, so you have a little bit more control as the line is um being released. And then, we want to talk a little bit about this little wheel right here. This wheel right here is for your drag. So with it loose, you know, you could pull it out pretty easily. And as you tighten it down, when you're dealing with bigger fish, you know, you, it requires a lot of tension just to get that going. So, you know, nice amount of drag and good control. I prefer this wheel function. Some people don't, but I, I like the wheel function. And the last thing, is this button right here so normally this is where you click it and it turns on the clicker so as you release in line and drag you'll hear it clicking but in this scenario this is used to lock lock it so what is locked like this you can't go anywhere with it it's it's stuck pretty much it's when you're in a you know a standoff with a fish and you're just holding on for dear life you lock it but you got to be careful because I had an issue where when I first used this, I didn't know that this was a lock. I thought it was the clicker and I put it in place and lost the fish because of it, just because I didn't pay attention to, 
to the manual. So I'm going to show you a quick clip of that, how that happened, and how, you know, going forward to avoid that issue. You don't want to lose a fish just because you don't understand how to use it. And that's what happened to me, unfortunately. Yeah. Got a nice, got a nice big fish and it's broken off. All right, my final thoughts on this reel. It is for the size, it packs a punch. I was able to deal with some bigger fish, um, any group of species in the Gulf, pretty much unless you're dealing with a Goliath, you know, those guys go a couple hundred pounds. But in my area, we're fishing, you know, 22 inch, you know, uh, red grouper, you know, 30 inch um, gags. This reel handles it with no problems. Can't even speak correctly. Um, some of the bigger AJs, you know, we do get some AJs in the 40 plus pound range and you just have to play them just like anything else. You have to adjust your drag. You know, you don't want to break off just because you're anxious. But with the, with the sharks in the area, sometimes you have no choice but to just try to muscle them up as quick as possible just because, you know, you'll get shocked. You know, I have tons of videos with the sharks just taking the fish that we have. So that's basically it. I'm gonna see you on the water. I have some cool video, um, some of my fishing trips. I'm gonna put in probably two different trips so you could see it performing in different different depth of water. I fish some shallow water and some uh, deeper water and like I said, no issues. And you know, if you can see, uh, I put a beating on this, this reel, you know, and she's still functioning perfectly. So I would definitely recommend this reel and if you're looking to get into jigging, this is a really good price point to get into jigging. The, the rod itself that I purchased was only about 50 bucks. And it, it's light as a, it's light as a feather. All right, we're gonna try this uh, two ounce swim bait with this Voltex jigging reel. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Look at this on this huge swim bait. <laughs> Scampy. Might ah, that, that might keep. Might yeah. Nice job, man. Yeah, he's gonna be just short. Oh. Yep. Nice job, yes, sir. Trigger. All right, this reel supports 33 pounds of drag, so hopefully I get a 33 pound fish. 
right, just got to the second spot. First drop down, hooked into something. <laughs> what are the odds? A flounder. A flounder on the jig. If, if it was just a little bit bigger, he'd be coming home for dinner.